Hey everybody, welcome back. We've got ourselves another break and it is another hobby box. Uh, we've already opened up one hobby box of Prism. That was a first off the line box, which is pretty sweet. Uh, what we've got here is a regular hobby box, but still these are gigantic. Uh, we're talking about 12 cards over 12 packs. That is a lot of cards and not one, not two, but three autographs. Um, there's also the chance for, let's see, there's 15 prism cards in here, or, and you have the chance of hitting a hot box, which features those navy blue Carolina parallels. We actually hit that, um, on our first off the line box, so if you want to go check that out. Uh, I've been having a hot streak with hot boxes, no pun intended. Uh, let's see if that continues. I'll be doing this break over three videos. We'll do four packs per video. Um, hopefully we hit roughly an autograph each video. That'd be pretty sweet. It's always exciting to hit those autos. You never know what you're going to get. I know most of the time it tends to be some type of rookie pitcher, um, but you never know. And so we are looking for any of those big autos, especially of any of the big rookies. Um, there is a Randy Arena, Arena auto in here, Brian Hayes, Joe Adele, you name it. They are in here. Uh, maybe not this specific box, but... In this set so let's go ahead and open this up see what see what it looks like inside very nice panini always does a good job with their packaging there you have it from front to back or 12 packs we'll grab the front four for this break this will be a lot of cards right this is going to be 48 cards i'll probably be pretty picky in terms of what we actually throw down on the showcase floor here um but let's see i love the inserts from prism it's definitely one of my favorite sets Again, I've said this in my other videos, my, I personally collect Prism, Optic, and Gypsy Queen, and Heritage Minor League. Those are like my four sets that I really like to hold on to. And let's see if we can hit some big cards. Okay. Here we've got, there's going to be plenty of rookie cards uh, that we run into, so I'm not going to put them all down, only the really good ones. we got a Luis Garcia rookie card. For those of you that have not seen a Prism, uh, you know, they're, they've stuck pretty much their their usual design. You know, Prism and Select for, look very similar. I do like the inserts out of uh, Prism a lot. So we'll see some of those over the next three videos. <clears throat> IKF, good old Kiner Falefa. Santiago Espinal, another rookie card. Again, you got the rookie card. Uh, some up top, we got Taylor Trammell, rookie card, not too shabby. Um, I feel like he's not as, you know, he used to be a big, big prospect. He hasn't really proven himself too much. Definitely strikes out a little bit too much. There's Trent Grisham. Uh, another thing we could potentially keep an eye out for is, uh, there are tiers in Prism. So anything, I believe, over, uh, 200 is considered a tier 3 card. Tier 3s tend to be a little bit more like short prints. They're a little, you know, a little more rare to run into. Uh, short print's probably the wrong way to put it. It's almost more like, a, I don't know, probably like getting like a rainbow foil or silver foil, foil or something like that. There's Kyle Lewis. Mike Soraka. There's a nice Shane McClanahan uh, rookie card. Nice rookie pitcher out of... Uh, out of the Rays. Let's throw that up top. I think that's the first one that might be worth something. And here we have it. We have got some of our parallels and our really nice looking inserts coming up. Uh, we have an upside down card. Now that actually might be our autograph, so I'm going to put that to the back. But there's a nice Trey Turner Illuminations card. Uh, let's send that. Oh, they're actually... I have no idea what's going on here now, but there's a nice... Unfortunately, I didn't play this year. Nice Sixto Sanchez par, uh, Prism. Now, that is not numbered, but it is a nice-looking Sixto Sanchez rookie card prism. So I'll throw that down. There will be 15 prisms in this box. Um, I apologize if you can't really read those too well. You've got a nice Stanton uh, Sluggers insert. And let's see what this next card is, this back card is all about. Uh, oh, you already seen it. It is not an autograph, but it is a numbered prism. There's Dane Dunning. That's a his rookie card, and that is out of 35, folks. That's a nice uh, looking card. Let's see, I believe that's Blue Kaleidoscope. One thing I like about the Prism set is there's so many different like Prisms and Parallels. And so the one out of 35, yep, this is the Navy Blue Kaleidoscope. 
Uh, nice looking card. I'll throw that down for sure. There's only 35 of those in existence. Uh, too bad it's Dane Dunning, but you know, not to not to really beat up on Dane Dunning, but would much rather have like a Ronald Acuna or something for looking at some numbered cards. Moved on to pack number two. There's that Sixto Sanchez, the the normal version. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, these cards are a little. Maybe if I throw this down below. There we go. That's a little better. There's Jose Barrios, or Barrios, uh, now with the Jays. Just signed a nice extension with them. There's an Ivan Rodriguez. There are a few uh, retired players in here. Uh, they're nothing special. They're not like, uh, you know, any special short prints or anything. They're just a part of the set. There's Alex Bregman. There's nice Ryan Mountcastle. I didn't get any votes for Rookie of the Year, but still hit, I think, 33 home runs this season. There's George Brett. Sammy Sosa. Uh, there we go. Nice Christian Javier. We'll go ahead and throw that down. I know, I know I said it'd be picky, but I like that Javier rookie card. This is a nice Luis Robert Illuminations card. Uh, we've got another numbered parallel. Love the look of this. Um, this is some kind of checkered... Let's see, that is out of 75. Now, that is a nice Charlie Blackman. Um, let's see what this one is. Out of 75, this is the Power Plaid. Very nice. Love the look of that. There's a nice Mookie Betts red prism. And last but not least, a really nice fireworks. This is a nice Joe Dell, one of the top rookies uh, in 2021. Well, meaning he actually didn't play that well, but he was considered one of the top rookies going into the season. I still think he's going to have a heck of a career. Um, so I'm going to throw them up there. All right, we've got two packs remaining. We have hit already two numbered prisms. Again, this is why I love Panini Prism. Uh, two numbered prisms. We're still looking for our first autograph. Let's see if we can hit it. Oh, there you have it, folks. While it's not his rookie card, he did win Rookie of the Year. That is Randy Rosarena. There's Craig Biggio. Jonathan Stever. Like I said, there's so many rookie cards in here. They're not necessarily good rookie cards, but there's a lot of them. Sorry, these are sticking together a little bit. Oh, there's your runner-up. I actually think Jonathan India should have won the Rookie of the Year. There it is, a really nice card. I'm going to throw that down here. There's Sam Huff. Got to love it. Any Mike Trout card is a good card. Nice Mike Trout. Jeremiah Jones, rookie card. Tony Gwynn, we've got our... Auto, ooh, and I just showed you. <laughs> Sorry about that. There's another Joe Adele. But as you just saw, we have our first autograph. And there it is. It's a rookie autograph for Spencer Howard. One, one big-time pitching prospect. And did I not call it, folks? Rookie pitchers always tend to be the autographs that you get in these sets. Uh, there's just a nice non-numbered Tariq Skubal. We'll throw that down as well. That's uh, that's like the hollow version of the card. I forget what they actually call it. Um, maybe like, a, I don't know, like their silver parallel, I suppose. And there's, an, there's another Trey Turner insert. That's stargazing. Love the look of these inserts. And let's move on to our last pack. So we did hit our first autograph. I'm not too disappointed by it. Spencer Howard still has potential to be a pretty good p pitcher. Maybe a number two or three in a rotation. I don't think he's a future ace or Cy Young winner, but you never know. And that's sort of why holding on to some of those rookies actually might be worth it sometimes. You got uh, Jesus Lizardo, Jeff Bagwell, Kyle Hendricks. Again, these cards are sticking together just a little bit. There's Trevor Larnick, one of the two Minnesota rookies. Uh, rookie cards that I probably would want out of this set, the other one being Alex Kirloff. There's Frank Thomas, Big Hurt. Bryce Harper, your MVP. Chris Paddock. Uh, Luis Alexander Basave, rookie card. There's your tied for the league leading home runs, Salvi Perez. I think this might be stuck. It is not. There's a nice Jose Altuve Fairless. Uh, I really like, I love the inserts here. Here's. Again, not numbered. Uh, we already got two of the number. There's a Mitchell White Blue parallel. We'll throw that down. And last but not least, a championship stage Kyle Hendricks. There's, I think, only like four or five of these, I believe. Um, 
So there you have it, folks. That is our first of three videos. We did, like I mentioned, get an autograph. And yes, like I uh, guessed, it was a rookie pitcher. Uh, Spencer Howard, not too bad. There's are definitely some other no-name uh, autos out there. So I, I'm at least glad I got one of the top pitching prospects in baseball a few years back. And a few numbered parallels. Not not too bad of a break. I hope you enjoyed that. Keep an eye out. We got two more videos coming, two more autographs, and probably at least another handful more of the numbered parallels. So I'm, I'm really excited for these. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's keep these hits coming. Cheers.